Welcome parents to e-learning where your child will be learning from home. Your child should have received their Chromebook when you went to pick up their supplies today. They are probably ready to dive in. Um, some of them probably have already flipped it open and are looking um, to see if their teacher posted anything. However, most things won't be posted till Monday. Um, however, we do wanna give you a quick tutorial of the platforms that your child will be using at home. The great thing is most of these um, platforms your child has used during the school year so they should be pretty comfortable navigating their Chromebook however as parents sometimes it's nice to have a quick little video to see exactly what they should be clicking on and where to find this information when they open up their Chromebook they'll go to Chrome um, you will probably see the Grand Island Public School web page they will go up here to the left hand corner for GIPS where they will click on clever clever is a platform that the district uses in order to save username and password. So these are some of those platforms or websites that your child uses on a daily basis. They are more than willing to use these resources while they are at home. They are not restricted to not use them. Um, Brain Pop, um, Amplify Science, your teacher might have some things in there their child needs to do. The Reading App, um, Study Island. So these are some of the places. So if your child assigns an assignment or they ask you to go to the Wonders app, you will find those housed in Clever. Most of the time, if your child has not used Google Classroom regularly, they will have to scroll down trying to find Google Classroom. I have mine already bookmarked. Um, I would encourage your child, once they find it, to color in the heart so that it shows that it is one of the favorites so that it's right there at the top every day that they log in for their learning. So they will click on Google Classroom. In Google Classroom, they will see multiple classes. Now they might see multiple classes more than what they thought they had in there. Um, a lot of our specialists are also using Google Classroom, PE, music, media skills, guidance. They want to stay connected with your child as just as much as the classroom teacher. Um, they may provide activities or lessons in there for your child to do um, throughout the week as well. So definitely take time to look into their classes in addition to their core classroom teacher. Um, right now I'm in my daughter's account, so I'm gonna click on her classroom teacher. Um, the stream is where a teacher can leave announcements. So if I go down, I can see that my daughter's classroom teacher has already left us a welcome message. Um, this is new for a, a lot of kindergarten parents. So there's a welcome message. Um, the ELL teachers left a message. So this is a place where your child um, can see announcements, messages. It also will tell you when your teacher posts a new assignment. Um, if I go to classwork, here is where I can see my child's classwork um, for the week. Now, your child's teacher, they all may be posting differently. Some may post a week at a time. Some may post by days. Um, so you'll just kind of have to check back daily to see what is in your child's Google Classroom. So if I look here, here are my daughter's assignments for the first week. Um, assignments for science, writing, reading and math for Monday, reading and math for Tuesday, and so on. So if I click on an assignment, um, I can kind of see what their activity, what their job is. Um, here is their assignment that she is required to do. Now, some teachers, let me get out of here. Some teachers, um, like myself, oops, I bet I have to log back in. Give me a second, parents. Okay, some teachers may post um, at a week at a time. Um, some teachers are using a template that the district provided to kind of streamline your child's assignment. So it just kind of, it varies across the district. But I do want to show that to you so that if your um, teacher did use the template, you kind of know how to access that. So if I go to classwork in my own classroom, I'll go back to stream. I'm gonna hit my Google assignment. Okay, I'm gonna go back into my assignments. Um, I'm gonna click on the assignment here. Now mine looks different from a teacher's perspective, but your child will click on the Google Slides. 
This Google Slide template was created by the district in order to kind of streamline assignments. And like I said, some teachers are using it, some teachers are not. Um, if your child's teacher is using it, um, it is very easy to navigate. It is all color coordinated. Um, it has the same format typically every day. You will see Monday is yellow. There will be a note from your teacher possibly a checklist of what activities your child is responsible for creating that day or completing. Here's an opportunity for your child to write notes or questions to your teacher, and then your teacher can respond to your child. Um, and then we start getting into the curriculum. So it's broken down by subject. So writing, here's your child's assignment for the week, or for the week, for the day, excuse me. Um, math, here's your child's assignment on the next couple slides for math. Reading, here's your child's assignment for the day for reading, science, um, and so on. When you get to a different color, that is your child's indication that they need to stop for the day and then they will pick up with this same Google slide the next day. Um, do keep in mind that these lessons are intended to be 20 to 25 minutes, so this is not something your child will work on the entire day. Um, find a time that works for you and your family. Um, they could do it in the morning, the afternoon, they could do some of it in the morning, some of it in the afternoon. Each subject is indicated on here, um, needs to be between 20 to 25 minutes. So we're really encouraging your child to work their hardest during that 20 to 25 minutes in order to get their assignment done. When they get to the end of the week, um, so red is Wednesday, navy blue is Thursday, and Friday is lime green. At the end of the week, their assignments are complete. And then um, over, enjoy your weekend as a family, and then when you come back on Monday, go back to classwork and your teacher should have a new assignment. So hopefully they are um, posting those assignments for you weekly so that you know what is expected of your child. Don't be afraid. Um, to ask your child's teacher for help if you are struggling with technology or not sure where to find something definitely send your child's teacher an email and then we will help you help your child be successful thank you parents so much for your willingness to help us um, we are definitely better and stronger together and we could not do this e-learning without your support so thank you parents